From the very beginning, volunteers were the foundation of NCARB. In the early years, the council's priorities, ambitions, and successes could often be traced back to the vision of individuals. Remarkable figures like Emory Stanford Hall, Mellon Greeley, and Pat Paderewski, whose experience and willpower drove the development of national standards. I think volunteering is the backbone of this whole organization. It's like without the architects and the member board execs that regulate the profession, you wouldn't have an organization. It just wouldn't happen without the volunteers. The hundreds of man hours or person hours that um, people put in is just amazing. Throughout its 100 years, volunteers have led the research and development of every major program and initiative. From establishing the NCARB certificate in the 1930s to developing and maintaining a national examination in the 1950s and 60s and to figuring out how education could incorporate experience and examination to streamline getting licensed in the 2010s. There is no way that NCARB can financially sustain the amount of work necessary even to refresh and update the ARE without volunteers. Everybody serves without compensation, uh, and uh, they're quite diligent in working to make the protection of the public better. It's great working with this body of people who are all after the same thing. They all care about this profession and care about how we're going about training and testing architects. As the council grew, so did the number of people willing to give back to the profession in the form of time, insight, and expertise. An effort was made to ensure different states, regions, levels of experience, and diversity of perspectives were included on committees and task forces. It's important to volunteer because one has the opportunity to shape policy and to make your state's voice heard and to help shape the future of the profession. By volunteering, you get to see different perspectives and the evolving perspectives of the young group, people who are coming up in, in the firm that are going to be working for and with you for a long time. The voices here are heard. No one is silenced when it comes to uh, the NCARB family. If you have an opinion, if you have an idea. NCARB isn't the only one who has benefited from the work. It has contributed to a family-like atmosphere amongst volunteers and a deeper understanding of the licensure process across the member boards. Volunteering for NCARB brings me the benefit of learning more about the business of licensure and regulation. It allowed me the opportunity to really get into the, the deep end of knowledge regarding um, issues related to licensures that I otherwise wouldn't have known about. I guess it's just something that's inside of you that wants to help wants to help others, wants to help our new licensees, wanting to help the students, wanting to help the profession. I really felt uh, fulfilled and I was getting far much more back from volunteer uh, participation than I was giving. 